Hello, mighty companions. This is Earl Raj Purdy, and I'm here to do Course in Miracles Lesson 106, which is Let Me Be Still and Listen to the Truth. Let me be still and listen to God. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Do you know if you lay aside your ego's voice, however loudly your ego's voice may seem to call to you, if you will not accept your ego's petty gifts that give you nothing that you really want, if you will not accept your ego's petty gifts that give you nothing that you really want, if you will listen with an open mind, and an open mind is a mind that has not told you what salvation is, then you will hear the mighty voice of God. <clears throat> you will hear the mighty voice of truth, quiet in power, strong in stillness, and completely certain in its messages. Listen and hear your Creator speak to you through your Creator's appointed voice. Your Creator's appointed voice silence the thunder of the meaningless. Your Creator's appointed voice shows the way to peace to those who cannot see. Be still today and listen to the truth. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived by voices of the dead. Voices of the dead tell you that they have found the source of life and offer it to you for your belief. Do not attend the voices of the dead. But listen to the truth. Listen to God. Be not afraid today to circumvent the voices of the world. Walk lightly past their meaningless persuasion. Don't hear the voices of the world. Be still today and listen to the truth. Go past all things which do not speak of the Creator who holds your happiness within His hand. Held out to you in welcome and in love. Hear only the Creator today and do not wait to reach the Creator longer. Hear one voice today. Today the promise of God's Word is kept. Hear and be silent, and God's voice will speak to you. Don't you know that God comes with miracles a thousand times as happy and as wonderful as those you've ever dreamed or wished for in your dreams? Your Creator's miracles are true. Your Creator's miracles will not fade when dreaming ends. Your Creator's miracles end the dream instead and last forever. For your Creator's dreams come from God to you, God's dear creation, whose other name is you. Prepare yourself for miracles today. Prepare yourself for correct perceptions today. Today allow your Creator's ancient pledge to you and all your brothers and sisters to be kept. Hear your Creator today and listen to the word which lifts the veil that lies upon the earth and wakes all those who sleep and cannot see. God calls to all those who sleep and cannot see through you. God needs your voice to speak to those who are asleep. For who could reach God's creation except God calling through yourself? Hear your Creator today and offer your Creator your voice to speak to all the multitude who wait to hear the word that your Creator will speak today. Be ready for salvation. Be ready for right-mindedness. Right-mindedness, which is salvation, is here and will today be given unto you and you will learn your function from the one who chose your function in your father's name for you. Listen today and you will hear a voice which will resound throughout the world through you. The bringer of all miracles has need that you receive the miracles first and thus become the joyous giver of what you received. Thus does healing which is salvation start and thus it ends. When everything is yours and everything is given away, everything will remain with you forever. And the lesson has been learned. Today we practice giving not the way you understand giving now, but as giving really is. Each hour's exercise should begin with this request for your enlightenment. I will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Ask and expect an answer. Your request is one whose answer has been waiting long to be received by you. It will begin the ministry for which you came, a ministry which will free the world from thinking giving is a way to lose. And so the world becomes ready to understand and the world becomes ready to receive. Be still and listen to the truth today. For each five minutes spent in listening, a thousand minds are open to the truth. For each five minutes spent in listening, a thousand minds are open to the truth 
and a thousand minds will hear the holy healing word you hear. And when the hour is past, you will again release a thousand more minds who pause to ask that truth be given them along with you. Today the holy healing innocent word of God is kept through your receiving the holy innocent word of God to give it away. So you can teach the world what giving means by listening and learning it of God. Do not forget today to reinforce your choice to hear and to receive the word by this reminder given to yourself as often as is possible today. Let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. My voice is God's to give what I receive. So we're going to say the prayers for about a minute or so and let ourselves hear it and let it be a part of us right now. We're going to let ourselves hear it. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Take a breath. And allow yourself to hear it. <clears throat> Let me be still and listen to the truth. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Let me be still and listen to the truth. I will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? I will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? I will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? I will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. My voice is his to give what I receive. Let me be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of love today. My voice is love to give what I receive. You will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Let you be still and listen to the truth. You are the messenger of God today. You will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Let you be still and listen to the truth. You are the messenger of God today. Your voice is God's to give what you receive. You will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Let you be still and listen to the truth. You are the messenger of God today. Your voice is God's to give what you receive. I will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. My voice is God's to give what I receive. Let me be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Let me be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. My voice is God's to give what I receive. So forward this video to anyone that you feel might love it and be interested and want to hear the Course in Miracles lessons. And go to my website at www.earlpurdy.com and check out my classes. And you can also sign up to receive the daily email lessons directly to you if you're not already receiving it. And I want you to let peace. Let peace extend, let peace extend from my mind to yours.